lecture number four, week number two. In our last class, we discussed the phasor diagram and equivalent circuit of a transformer in brief. Today, we are going to discuss the voltage and the flux relationship in a transformer. We have studied that the flux lead the uh, induced EMF by 90. So, in a transformer, we know that the voltage induced in a primary is EP is equal to minus NP number of turn in primary multiplied by D5 by DT. The flux induced in a primary is because of the sinusoidal voltage applied to primary. So the flux also varies sinusoidally. The instantaneous value of the flux in the transformer is phi is equal to phi maximum sine omega t. Now we put this in equation number one. So we got E P in E primary is equal to minus N primary multiplied by D by DT and in the bracket we put the value of flux that is phi maximum sine omega T. Now differentiate this uh, the flux equation. So we got omega phi maximum cos omega t. Now we know that cos omega t is equal to sine omega t minus phi by 2. So putting this value of cos in, the, uh, in this equation we got this new equation. From this equation we say that the EMF induced in a transformer lake the flux, flux maximum here, by 90 degrees. This sine omega t minus phi by 2 show that flux is, uh, EMF uh, lake the flux by 90. The next topic is uh, voltage regulation in a transformer. Voltage regulation basically describes the voltage difference between no load and full load voltage. So in a real transformer has series impedance within it. We already studied that there is a uh, resistance and inductance in primary winding as well as in secondary winding. So the output voltage of a transformer varies with the load even if the input voltage remain constant. To compare transformer in this respect a quantity used called voltage regulation is used. So what is voltage regulation? Full load voltage regulation is a quantity that compares the output voltage of a transformer at no load with the output voltage at full load. It is defined by the equation voltage regulation is equal to no load voltage minus full load voltage divided by full load voltage multiply by 100. Suppose we have a transformer uh, having a secondary open mean there is no load connected with it. So what will be the voltage at that point or at that instant when secondary is open it is definitely the EMF induced in the secondary winding E2 it will be the voltage of a transformer at no load. 
now when we connect load to a transformer there will be a voltage uh, drop that is uh, in the secondary side that is I2 means secondary current and Z2 secondary amperance so the secondary voltage will be less than the voltage that is at no load so it will be V2 in this case so the voltage regulation is E2 no load voltage minus V2 full load voltage divided by full load voltage multiplied by 100 so this is the voltage regulation of a transformer now parallel operation of a transformer we can use a transformer in parallel but with a certain condition the transformer is said to be in parallel operation when they are primary winding are connected to a common voltage supply and the secondary winding are connected to a common load here uh, see as you people see in the figure we have two transformer this A and B transformer having primary connected to a supply common supply bus and its secondary is connected to a common load so why we use a parallel uh, transformer in our system because uh, of the following reason parallel operation of transformer is necessary because of the following reason it is uh, uneconomical uh, to have a single uh, uh, transformer for heavy and large load hence it will be a wise decision to connect a number of transformer in parallel if we have one single large transformer and there is a fault so we have to disconnect all the supply and if we have a multiple transformer in parallel we can shift the load of one transformer to the other transformer connected in a system Next is if the transformer are connected in parallel, so there will be scope in future for expansion of substation to supply a load beyond the capacity of the transformer already installed. Mean if we have a, a parallel transformer, so uh, if, uh, in future uh, load increase, we can put this on a transformer that are connected in our system or we can increase that number of transformer uh, uh, in parallel so that meet the required load another uh, reason for a parallel operation of transformer is there will be a breakdown of a transformer in a system a transformer connected in parallel there will be no interruption of power supply for essential services like the services that are important uh, hospitals or some kind of uh, important office so the uh, power supply will be continued in case of parallel operation of transformer if any of the transformer from the system is taken out of service for the maintenance and inspection the continuity of the supply will not get disturbed because all other transformer are in operation for the satisfactory pair operation of the transformer the two main condition are necessary one is that the polarities of the transformer must be same another condition is that the turn ratio of the transformer should be equal these are the two conditions that are must for the parallel operation of transformer one is the polarity of the transformer must be same and another is that the turn ratio of the transformer should be equal there is uh, another topic that is called tree transformer connection this is basically used uh, for two uh, for three phase to two phase conversion or for two phase to three phase conversion so it is the method of, of connecting two single phase transformer to perform the three phase to two phase conversion and vice versa mean that we can convert uh, three phase to two phase and also the reverse is possible from two phase to three phase 
the two transformer are connected electrically mean the two single train uh, two single phase transformer we are using are connected electrically but not magnetically one of the transformer is called the main transformer and the other is called the auxiliary or teaser transformer we have two single phase transformer one is main transformer and the other is teaser or auxiliary transformer they are all connected electrically to got a two phase output this is the connection of a scout T transformer in the figure below show uh, we have a two transformer that is one is uh, the main transformer and the other is the auxiliary transformer in uh, in this figure the a b c d is the three phase side of a transformer and the two phase side is denoted uh, on the right side that is load so the main transformer is connected that is b and c and have a tapped at d this is the primary of a main transformer b and c and tapped at d this is the secondary uh, side of the main transformer the other auxiliary transformer is connected across a d this is the primary of a auxiliary transformer and this is the secondary of the auxiliary transformer we supply from this side three phase side and we know that the three phase supply the phase difference is 120 on the other side on a two phase supply we have a phase difference of 90 so there are some application of scout connection the scout T connection is used in electric furnace installation where it is desired to operate two single phase together and draw the balance load from the three phase supply the scout T connection is used to link a three phase system with a two phase system with the flow of power in either direction so these are the some application of scout connection next we have uh, a potential transformer the potential transformer is a device used for the transformation of voltage from higher value to lower value this transformer step down the voltage to a safe limit value which can be easily measured by the ordinary low voltage instrument like a voltmeter, wattmeter and watt hour meter etc. I mean a potential transformer mostly used for uh, protection and metering purposes. It basically uh, step down the higher value of uh, voltage to a safe low voltage value so we can uh, measure it with the help of an instrument like uh, voltmeter and watt meter etc so these are basically uh, potential transformer and current transformer are called instrument transformer and used in power system protection for protection purposes and metering purposes now a current transformer uh, is we uh, study the potential transformer in the same way current transformer or city is used for the transformation of current from higher value into a lower value it transform the higher voltage uh, current to a low voltage current mean it step down the value of uh, current from higher value to lower value in order to uh, monitor it or measure it with the help of uh, an instrument like ammeter so both these transformer are called instrument transformer and used in 
power system for heating and protection purposes. Thank you. This is all about uh, transformers.